And with us right now at the mics, we're going to uh, say hi to Laura. Mom, Laura, hi. Hello. And Cole. Hello. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah. you. Get, I tell you, this kid's got, I, one thing I noticed when he walked in, Laura, he's got a great smile. Yes, I mean, he, he really does. I mean, you definitely don't have a face for radio. You need to be on TV. You need to be in the movies. Wait a second. You were in the movies. Ooh. Were you an extra in the movie Dolphin Tale 2? Yes, I was. Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience uh, meeting the actors. Uh, I Before my cancer, I used to model and... Uh, ah, there right, you go. Yeah. yeah, I could see you bombing. So, yeah. Uh, right before um, my uh, cancer, I got into this dolphin tail too, and it was really exciting. Uh, a nice um, experience for me. Yeah. Would you like to do more of that? Um. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. He's, right. He's saving for a car, so yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Need to work. Uh, yep. All right. So, any movie producers out there? We've got a fine-looking young man here. Uh, also, you were a standout midfielder on uh, on at school and soccer teams. Uh, like you said, you were doing some model shoots. You were doing that. Are you excelling studies at the Grace Lutheran Church, which, of course, you have your shirt on. Hi to Grace Lutheran Church in, uh, in, in school in St. Pete. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And then, boom, what happened, Mom? And everything just fell out of, you know, he got ill. Right. And that's sort of the surprising thing with uh, pediatric cancer is you can be absolutely healthy. And then all of a sudden, small symptoms start. And you 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 think, you know what, this is maybe just adolescent changes. Sure. Uh, Maybe this little headache is is just, again, adolescent migraines. Uh, But thankfully, uh, we didn't ignore it and Mm -hmm. got in right away. And our MRI showed that there was a golf ball-sized tumor in the back of his brain. So Cole was diagnosed with brain cancer February 2014. Mm -hmm. Uh, The type of cancer is called medulloblastoma. And thankfully, there's a protocol for that. Uh, sometimes there's not and thankfully for him uh, there was due to past research and this hospital has the um, capability of handling you know everything that was needed to make that protocol happen and bring Cole here today Wow you were what 11 at the time Uh, 12 12 12, 12, okay Mm -hmm. so how were you feeling you just all of a sudden you start hey mom I well yeah it was really different uh, because I really don't get I didn't get sick like maybe once every year I would get sick. You never found an excuse and... to get out of school for a week, right? <laughs> yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, this was really different, and uh, I knew it was something different, but we really couldn't figure it out. So I started to get double vision, and so we mm. came here um, to the, uh, uh, the um, ophthalmologist. ophthalmologist, and uh, he was like, uh, I don't know what's going on, but let's order an MRI. An MRI, so right. they looked at the MRI, and obviously you can right see away. by the MRI. Wow! Yeah. You still got a pic. You still got. Uh, <laughs> still got a picture of that. Oh yeah. So we knocked yep. that thing out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when it all started. So how was your? Tell me, if in your words, uh, Cole, your experience going through all this here at the hospital, from the doctors to the nurses to the staff. And well, just, um, your feelings about <laughs> this place. It uh, it's a it's an amazing place. I really I'm really thankful for a hospital that's really close to me. And is so nice, and the doctors and the nurses are really fantastic. I think it really helped my spirit. Um, well, every single day when I would uh, wake up and stuff, I would just see the nurse come in, and she would always be nice to me. She or he would always be nice to me. And I think it would just lift my spirits up. And it, same thing, it, it's just really close. The hospital is really close to me. So it's just a great experience to have a hospital just really close to you and a great one. I know we, we do hear that. We've done this for many years is that people that, you know, they, they go through some really hard times here yet. Mm-hmm. It's almost like when they get well, they, they miss it. It's kind of, you know what I mean? It, it's like I want to come back and see these people because this is a different type of hospital. I think that the, the heart and soul and everything that they do, I think, helps. It just helps people heal more beyond maybe the medicine and, and, and what God's doing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You know, what our example is, you know, the nurses and doctors and staff give over than over 100%, uh, but they show by example uh, what can be done. And Cole was motivated by that and wanted to give back, you know, to the hospital. And so he found a way to do that. He comes back. You said you, people right. like to come back. Yeah, yeah he comes like, back. So I know he yeah. wants to talk about, about, you know, why he comes back. We're coming back today with some gifts for the teen lounge. 
Oh, um, yeah. I want to so, hear about all this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me what you got going on here. Yeah, so um, on my specific floor, you can't, once you're admitted, you can't really go out of the floor because um, the, you could bring in a de disease and they can all get affected and stuff like that. Um, so uh, when my friends would come, I really didn't have a place to go except for my room to kind of hang out. And I didn't really want to hang out in my room because... <laughs> You know, all the medical there. stuff and <laughs> sure. all that. So I wanted to get away from that. So uh, when I was walking around in this uh, area, I saw a little uh, room that I was like, that can be some place that I can, it could be like a teen lounge. Yeah, so I called it a teen lounge. Think it out of the box, And too. Uh, I raised some money. Uh, Walgreens helped me with that. And uh, it's us. we did an event called Foot Golf. And it's basically uh, golf, but you play with your foot and it's a bigger it's a bigger golf course um but you use the soccer ball and you right. hit it yeah, same thing and I like uh, I like so it. we raised ten thousand dollars and we gave it to wow. um uh um all, all, all children's right. hospital and then uh we wanted it to go to that teen lounge so we made that teen lounge and now uh, all the teens in there can go in there and wow. do what I dreamed of doing uh, when I was in there. <laughs> Entrepreneur in the making here. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You went into the board, a director said, you sit oh, down and say, we need a meeting right now. I've got an yeah. idea. Something like that. You have yeah. done so much for me here. I am ready to give back. Yeah. Well, that is simply awesome. So, mm -hmm. wow. So yeah. we, I'm impressed. We go in every month and update it, and you know, schools and different organizations will give you know a few items, or Cole will do lemonade stands or something to raise money. Uh, so today we're walking in with some kind of uh, more uh, books, games, uh, right. you know, gifts, different gifts, different do. things. We just keep it stocked, and then the kids can take anything they want out of that room and, mm -hmm. and take it home. And one thing that I'd like everybody to know is that um, downstairs, uh, anyone can just pull out and drop off gifts uh, give it to the valet if you That's don't even want to get idea. out of your car just give it to the valet guy because just right on the other side of the the roundabout is uh, a big bin that's um, constantly got new gifts coming in, and boy, do they use them. That really right. lifts the spirits of the kids, you know, to get something fresh and new. And It's a good reminder, yeah. especially this time of year. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. I said, because some of these kids will be in here right. over the holidays, so right. that's a great idea. Yeah. Talking to uh, Laura and uh, Cole, and uh, we want you to call. This young man doesn't amaze you. I want you to call in right now. In his honor and his health, 800-270-8642, 800-270-8642. Become a miracle maker. It's just $15 a month. We'd love to have you uh, as soon as we get done interviewing. If, if you want to finish out with that and then pick up the phone and call, please do. Uh, so... Here's a gift for you. Oh, what? What is this? What did you oh, bring? Oh, yeah, we have a what? we have a gift. It's okay, well, thank you. <laughs> it's cowbell. It's cowbell. No, no, no. It's a, it's a bell, and uh, it symbolizes that when you're done with treatment, uh, you get to ring this bell, and that means that you're done with treatment. You right. can get out of the hospital. You can start recovering. You can get back to life. So um, I really loved ringing that bell. And uh, I bet you did. I just want to uh, say that all the people out there, if you do call in, um, just think about how many people you're going to make, uh, how many kids you're going to make ring the bell today. And um, wow. I would like to yeah. ring that bell. <laughs> ring it for us. Yeah. That is so cool. Thank you so much for my bell. I'll ring it often in your honor. Well, you're an incredible young man, and uh, best to you. And, uh, boy, you got your whole life ahead of you, and uh, you're going to make a difference. You know, you really are. I can see somewhere, somehow, you know, you know, you're just very cool. And I'm so glad for you and your family and for this amazing hospital. You know, this is what it's all about because we just never know. Like you said, there's somebody listening right now going, God, that's amazing. I'm glad I got healthy kids, but not to scare anybody, but you never know. It's nice. Mm -hmm. to, it's kind of like a big insurance policy here. You know, it really is. So <laughs> give us a call. Thank you, guys. Thank you. No, thank you. You, you thank got you. it. <laughs> Cole's the man. Just 50 cents a day, 800-270-8642, 800-270-8642, All Children's Hospital. It's our annual Radiothon, just two days, cares for kids, and they make a difference down here big time. Give us a call, Catfish, US 1035.